All right, we're here with uh, ProBoxingInsider.com with, of course, as always, uh, Jeff Mayweather. Jeff, how are you doing today? I'm good. All right, uh, this we're going to concentrate a little bit here on Celestino Caballero. Um, a lot of problems with the with the fight. Uh, is it finally official? Yeah, the fight's official now. It's official. So it's it's going to be July 28th. Do we know the location yet? Or um, I don't. I'm not sure if the location is. Um, you know, people keep saying California, but I don't think that the location is actually. Um, you know, it's not secure yet where the location's going to be. Do you think it makes a big difference in how the fight will play out, whether it's in Garcia's backyard or, if, or for instance, if it goes to Panama, you know, Celestino's country? Well, I mean, I think that, of course, I think that that does play a part, you know, but at the same time, I think that, you know, it's a situation where, you know, um, I mean, with Celestino winning the, the first bid, the fight definitely shouldn't be in California. I mean, that... You know, to me, that'd be defeat the purpose of winning the first bid. Now, you, you haven't been with us. You've been with us, you know, a few fights. Um, are you worried, like, you know, based on the experience with Barros, if you know you have to go in the backyard of Garcia, are you worried about a little home cooking again? No, I'm not worried because I think that one thing I think is that Celestino is focused, really focused for this fight, and it's, it's a situation in which Celestino has respect for this guy. And long as Celestino has respect for a fighter. He works tremendously hard, and, and that's the one thing that I'm seeing with Celestino. And he's focused, and he knows that this is not going to be, you know, a cakewalk. And he's not, he's not fooling himself that, you know, kind of like he did with Lissau, you know, because we both under, underestimated Lissau, and, and of course Lissau would end up, you know, winning the fight. What were some of the hangups on this particular fight as far as getting it made? Well, I mean, basically it's just the fact of, um, you know, Celestino, you know, joining. You know, joining the race with Floyd as, uh, as, as his new promoter. So, I mean, you know, a lot of miscommunication, you know, and various things. So, I mean, the contract was actually in, at one point in time, I think it was in Leonard's hands, I'm not sure. Um, and it was in, and eventually I had to get in touch with Al Heyman. I had to take it upon myself to get in touch with Al Heyman because we were, we were being forced for the deadline, you know, and, and, and everyone was like, you know, that Celestino was going to get stripped of his title if yeah, this contract is signed within, you know, X amount of hours. So I took it upon myself to get in touch with uh, Al Heyman, which is probably one of the hardest guys on the planet to get in touch with. You know, he's almost like an invisible man, but I was blessed and fortunate to, you know, get a contact to his right hand guy, Sam Watson. Got in touch with him and um, we got everything done. And how has Caballero looked in, in the camp? It's, you know, I know it's, it's a little early, so he's taking a little light. What's it like working with a fighter who you kind of need to, you know, pull the reins back a little bit and not let them work as hard as they necessarily might, you know, when they're in, in the middle of a camp? Well, I mean, basically, you know, I mean, right now, um, it's more about, you know, getting his weight down and actually doing strength training. So that's what he's doing more more than anything. More than anything, he's just doing strength training, you know, to, to get himself really strong for the fight. And um, you know, and um, that's basically more. That's mostly what he's doing now. So I don't think that's that's going to hurt us that much. What problems do you think Garcia will pose for Celestino once they actually start to fight? Well, the only thing that um, he presents is that I mean, he's, he's strong. He's a decent puncher. He's not a devastating puncher, but he's a, he's a decent puncher. To be honest, that's something that, you know, I don't think that fear sets you at all because he's been in, I remember when he fought um, Ponce de Leon, when Ponce de Leon was definitely, I mean, a tremendous puncher at, at that time. And I mean, he was in his, and he was in his prime when Celestino fought him, and he was still undefeated. So, I mean, I don't think that um, Garcia presents that type of problem. I think that he's a strong guy, but, and he's, and he's, he's young. You know, that, that's probably his, his best asset is that he's young. But at the same time, when, when you match skills for skills, and I know if Celestino has his legs under him, it should be an easy fight. And the other way around, uh, you know, what, what challenges does Celestino present for Garcia? Well, I mean, there's no way he's ever fought anyone remotely close to Celestino. I mean, because Celestino is not your average fighter. He's not the average fighter. And when I say that, I don't say it in terms of, you know, I mean, he's, he's the guy that throws punches from weird angles, um, you know, throws, you know, high volume of punches. Also, you know, he's extremely hard to hit. You know, when he has his legs under him, I mean, the guy's almost untouchable. 
So, I mean, you know, he brings a lot to the table. And not only that, I mean, he has a, a wealth of experience. And he's been champion five times. So, you know, that speaks for itself. All right, Jeff, I appreciate your time. And best of luck on that fight. Thank you. Got me. <laughs>